Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Molino Bianco Barella cookies. Uh, these are actually made in Italy. Uh, we have the shortbread with sugar crystals, the cookies with chocolate chip, uh, cocoa biscuits, and ice sugar stars, and this one is the cookies with hazelnut and cocoa cream. These were $4.79 each at Kroger, and uh, when I saw them, I'm sure they sold them at Kroger forever. I just hadn't paid Never any attention to them before. Uh, when you use the finest ingredients in your baking, you don't need things like preservatives, dyes, hydrogenated fats, or artificial sweeteners, and that's why you won't find them in our products. Um, these, uh, but they're still good for a long time, despite not having any of those things in them. Four cookies are 140 calories, and there are six servings in the bag. So these are the shortbread with sugar crystals. And I, like, I, like I was, a little biscuit or cracker. Um, I was surprised when I put these, uh, had these in the grocery haul a while back, that um, I had several people saying, "Oh, we've had those around forever." Yeah, like I said, you probably have. I just, I, I don't know why I hadn't noticed them before. Uh -huh. The ones over here don't have no sugar. They're literally just thrown mm -hmm. in the bag. Mm-hmm. Mm. They do flavor though. I like the sugar on top. It's a very basic flavor, but they're nice. Mm -hmm. I can see having that with your uh, <coughs> with your tea. Or choking to death on it. <laughs> you know what I like about that? <coughs> Besides choking to death on it? Do you need a good drink? Oh my. Um there, I thought from the looks of them that they would be like those that come in the blue tin. Yeah, taste cheap. But well, no, I like the the shortbread cookies, I but think they cheap. those are a denser texture and they're much harder and crisper. Yeah, these seem like almost like a pastry, but in a cookie, and they're not they're not like flaky, mm -hmm. but they are. There's it's a different texture. It's a softer so. crunch. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I really do like the, the sugar crystals yeah. on top make a big difference. Yeah, when you bite into them, they actually kind of collapse. They don't like, err. You know, yeah. You don't really have to bite them. They're, they're lighter. They're very good. I think they're very Light good. and airy. Yes. So now these are basically chocolate chip. <laughs> chocolate chip cookies. Oh, and they're heart shaped. Oh, that's cute. <clears throat> yeah, it's a heart shape. So these uh, are uh, seven servings in the container. Three cookies are 130 calories. You just have your own, just that also has like a, a light and airy kind of mm -hmm. texture. The chocolate is okay. It's very light too. It's probably a good thing. I really like the texture of that. Mm -hmm. It um, yeah, but the chocolate reminds me of like a um, cookie crisp, or not cookie crisp, a uh, chips ahoy kind of chocolate. I'm not crazy about the chocolate. Yeah, but I like the texture itself of the cookie because mm -hmm. it's not a hard cookie. No, it's very light. Yes, it's a light, airy kind of crumbly cookie. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure some people would love to dunk these cookies. We're not dunking people, um, but. Um, I, I do not care for the chocolate. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It's it, chocolate um, for me too. Uh, but I do like the, the rest of the cookie mm -hmm. itself. Um, these are cocoa biscuits and iced sugar stars. And so I didn't like the chocolate in those. I'm kind of these are kind of scary to me because that's what they are. I mean they're. Uh, I'd say these are going to be more like cocoa like, wouldn't you? Uh, I would think so. These uh, four cookies are 150 calories, and there's about six servings in here. That's what I want. That's a different, a different chocolate flavor. Mm-hmm. It is. That's more of a baking cocoa kind of flavor. Mm. Well, I like it better. You know what they remind me of is the. Uh, an Oreo, that kind of Oreo chocolate. It's a little darker. Flavor. Yeah, it's a darker, it's a darker chocolate. It's um, mm. it's not bitter, but it does have a little bit of a 
bite to it. Yep. Um, it very much reminds me of an Oreo. And again, very light, airy cookie, very soft, um, crunchy cookie. Those, you could take that whole bag and crush them up put them on top and of put them on like ice cream yeah, or something. Yeah, good. it would, it, it truly would. I think you could fool people into thinking that was Oreo. Probably. If you put that in some vanilla ice cream, uh, but I think these are more expensive. That's the difference. That's why you would not want to do that. They're good. They're, well, at least they're okay. At Kroger, they're more expensive. I don't know about other stores. And lastly, we have the cookies at, with hazelnut and cocoa cream. And these look like sandwich cookies. Yeah, that's exactly what they are. And these are sandwich cookies. So, seven servings, three cookies are 140 calories. Looks like little buttons. They do look like buttons. I looked in there and I thought, that looks like a lot of buttons. Caroline. Huh? Caroline. Oh, Coraline. Coraline, sorry. <laughs> it's been a long time since it's all moving. It has a really nice texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very soft. Soft, crunchy, not soft, chewy. Mm -hmm. I get a little bit. I yeah. mean, maybe. It was hazelnut. Mm -hmm. It's very faint. Mm -hmm. I'm really reaching for it. It's there. It's mainly, yeah, but it's, it is there, but it's, it's um, I think it has a lot of cocoa in it too. Mm -hmm. um, it, once again, it's a really nice texture cookie. Yeah, I love the, the airy cookie texture. I really with, do like that. With everything that we have to choose from uh, in the cookie aisle, I'm shocked that Kroger sells these. I know. And it's nothing against the brand at all. It's just that we're in America and we just have a lot of cookies. And for them to bring something from Italy, mm -hmm. it's just surprising. Especially something that's not overly sweet because... You know, we like our sweet over here. We like our sweet. Um, so it surprises me that that many customers, that they have that many customers buying these to warrant selling them. It's, right. it's just su surprising. Yeah. I mean, the, there are people that don't like a sweet, though. So Yeah, that's that, true. This is for those people that don't like the really But don't cookies. you think uh, the, uh, is it Laura Dune or? Oh, there's a bunch of them that are not quite sweet. Pepper's Farm makes some, some that aren't quite sweet. Yeah, so it, I, it just still surprises me that, that, that they sell these. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just a surprise. My favorite of all four of them. Yes. Mm, mine too. Just the basic, what are they called? Just short shortbread, right? Yeah, just the shortbread. The sugar. Those sugar crystals are everything. Yeah, they're, they're really wonderful. Good. And they don't, they're not super coated on some, but they're they're there on all of them. Mm -hmm. That yeah. one was my first. And then if I had to pick a number two, it'd probably be the chocolate with stars. I don't know. I like the hazelnut ones. Though. pretty good too. If not I, because they're hazelnut, but. Mine, the shortbread's number one. If I had to pick a number two, um, you know what? I'm going to pick those too. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to pick those and then the hazelnut number three. Uh, and then I just wouldn't buy the chocolate chip. No, I just did not like the chocolate in that. But since some of you told me, hopefully you all are watching this video, uh, that you've tried these, that you like these, which one do you buy all the time? Which one are you going to? Because I'm, I'm very, very curious. And why do you choose this brand over American cookies? Why would you choose these? Uh, I'm just very, very curious. That's all. Um, but I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.